into it, and it's a bit hilly as well, so I'm gonna go into first, and then once I'm here, bring my clutch up a little bit. I wanna get close to this machine so I can, I can tap my card. So right now I'm on a very steep hill, and I wanna go down the hill to come out of this parking space. I'm gonna go into reverse. This is just to let people know around me that I'm reversing because my reverse light will come on. And then I don't actually need to use the clutch for this. I'll use the brake, my clutch is down the whole time. If I bring my clutch up, the car is gonna to go too fast. So I'm just gonna use the, the brake to control how fast I go down the hill. The whole time looking around everywhere, making sure that it's still safe. Even put my arm here for a bit more comfort. Then I can start turning a bit towards left so the car goes that way. I'm just going to reverse back a bit more so I can go up this ramp. Looking everywhere. So this bit is quite steep as well. Let me let people know I'm going this way. There are some kids walking in front so I'm going to let them do their thing first. There's a car behind me. Keep to the left. So those kids are now on the pavement, so now I can move forward. Keep it to the left. Nice and clear on that side, so then I can go. You notice the whole time I didn't come off the clutch then. That's the mistake a lot of learners make is when they're coming up the hill there, they bring up the clutch too high, and then the car's gonna stall, or it's gonna go too fast up the hill. So I wanted to control my speed, so I just kept my clutch around the biting point, and not too high, and not too low. So now I'm just waiting for this light to go green, You can either wait with your clutch down, in gear, foot on the brake, or you can go into neutral. But I've got a feeling it's gonna change very soon and this man started to walk in front of me. If it changed when he's walking in front of me, obviously I'm not gonna run him over. But if he was still on the side, I'd want to start moving so that he knows that the light's changed for me. In a second, I can see a bus, but now they've moved off. So I don't have to worry about them too much. Go down a bit into pedestrian. So this road is gonna split into or go back into one lane again. I can see that the car from the right there by turning that was I don't worry about it. But you need to be aware of that. Be aware that the lanes are merged together and check that mirror. Just like here, I'm gonna check my left mirror because I'm going towards the left, and then I'm gonna check my right mirror again because I need to go a bit towards the right to not hit these cars. So we've got, we've got the bus stopping on the left, and we're gonna check how many people are getting on the bus and I'm going to check my mirrors as well so I can go around him. So people are still getting on so which means it's not going to move anytime soon then I can go around him after checking my mirror. No need for a signal there. Okay, nice and slowly through here. I'm doing around just around 20, just over 20 miles per hour. Got a car poking up on the left but he's seen me so he's going to have to wait. You don't want to overreact here and stop for no reason. If they've seen you and then they're stopping, you carry on. I see the lorry up ahead is slowing down to make the turn, so I, think that's, I can slow down as well. Check my left mirror. Now I could go into the left lane, but I can see there's a bus lane straight after this junction, so there's no need to go there and then come back out again. I'm just going to stick to this middle lane for now, which then turns into the right lane of these two lanes. While I'm here, I'm gonna check this mirror because I, there could be potentially any vehicles coming from this side, but then they'll see the bustling sign and then they'll try to go in front of me. So I wanna make sure I'm checking that mirror as well. So here, I could go left, but the bus lane is not finished yet. Be careful not to cut into the bus lane too early when you're trying to go into the left lane. And sometimes it might not even be worth going into that left lane either because a bit further down, it could be a bus lane pretty much straight away. Let's see. So I'm going to stick to the left for now. And I can see on the floor, there are markings telling us that the lane's coming to an end because it's a bus lane. And then I'm going to check this mirror and this car's going to go past. Slowing it down a bit so I can go in there nicely without getting too close to them. So if you need to change lanes like that or need to merge into the other lane, just use your mirrors properly slow down gradually and then move into the lane when it's safe. Got a police car flying past us on the left there and then 
now that it's gone to red making sure i keep an eye on the lights so that i don't just follow the car in front which is what a lot of people do a lot of learners anyway they'll follow the car in front and then end up potentially going through red lights so these lights don't stay red for too long so don't need to get too relaxed so now it's going to green i can start moving bearing in mind that the bus lane is still is still in operation so i can't use it right now Take the next left, so I'm gonna check my center mirror, left mirror, signal left. I don't want to go into the lane yet because the bus lane's not finished. Now it's finished, I can check my mirror again and go into the lane, brake a little bit, check the mirror one more time, and then make my turn. Keeping an eye on that guy on his scooter, but he wasn't coming towards me, so it was fine. Still 30 miles an hour around here because I can see the sign, and before I saw that writing, I could tell because there's no other signs since I joined this road and this road earlier was 30 miles per hour so if the speed limit has changed there'll be signs telling us that it's changed going into this road that looks like a one-way but it's actually a two-way into a meeting situation so I'm just gonna move a little bit here so I don't need to go all the way to the left just enough for this car to go past and then once it's gone I check my mirror and then move out again I don't want to be hanging around the left too long for no reason. Once the other car's gone past and, and I can see that it's safe, I come out of that space. And here, lots of people fail here for some reason. They don't see this give way line or this give way sign. So I'm just gonna go slowly, checking the right side from early, going to, going to first gear so I can check it properly. And then I see it's clear. And here they're gonna say, sometimes examiners say, follow the road towards the left. So. I don't need to signal here because the road goes this way anyway. I'm just gonna have a quick glance to the right. I don't really need to stop for anybody there because there shouldn't be anyone coming from there, but you never know, cyclists, um, people on scooters, sometimes even drivers they might make, make a mistake and come down that road when they shouldn't do. Okay, keeping an eye on the cyclists, so I can go around. It's still 30 miles per hour. So then now I can go into third, going up this hill. Checking my right mirror. And then I'm going to take the next road on the right where the bus is going as well. I'm just going to check my center, check my right, signal. I'm going to go into second gear for this. And then there's a box that's a bit faded, but I'm going to go into this box. So second gear is engaged. Check my mirror one more time and then I can make my turn into the road. Check my mirror as I enter a new road just to see if anyone's followed me into here. So I'm aware of what's going on around me. So you notice the bus is signaling right there. It doesn't mean that it's turning right or that it's pulling over to the right. A lot of buses, they'll signal right when they're going around uh, parked vehicles just so that you know that they're not parking on the left that you don't try to go around them. And I can see they're slowing down a bit up ahead. So when they're slowing down, like you need to ask yourself why they're slowing down. And there's lots going on up there. This is, this is a zebra crossing there and this is car parking as well. So I'm not gonna approach it too fast. I'm gonna go into first, thinking about what's coming down the road as well, because I don't wanna just go around this car if there's cars coming from the other side and their priority. So I need to be certain that it's clear. Got these people. There's a zebra crossing right behind them. They could have crossed there. So I'm gonna check my center mirror, right mirror, signal right. Here, yeah, these lights take quite a long time. So I'm just gonna put my handbrake on, go into neutral, and relax for a bit while I've got my signal still on. I'm gonna be joining the dual carriageway here. And we are the only lane that's gonna turn right here. This lane has to go straight or left. So in that case, I'm gonna make sure I aim for the left lane as I make the turn. That way it's much easier to deal with when I go down the road. I don't have to worry about switching back to the left again. I'm already in the lane that I need to be in. I'm also looking out for the lights as well. Is it 
one of those lights that will allow me to turn straight away will I have to wait in the middle this is the kind of thing you've got to be thinking about before the light goes to green so like now we'll start moving forward give this guy some space to move So he should be moving forward now because there's nothing stopping him from moving forward because every, all the other cars are turning this way. I'm going to make sure that I can see properly. He's taking a bit long so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to aim for the middle lane because he's doing it a bit slowly. And then now I can carry on. So once I'm here, so I can see there's a nice space on the left so I'm going to check my mirror, mirror, signal and then go back to the left. So you don't have to be in a rush to go to the left lane. Do it in a nice, safe way. So we're approaching, this lane is gonna turn into a slip road. I can see there's someone behind me coming up quite fast car just slowing them down. I'm gonna go straight second exit in this roundabout. So I'm gonna keep to the left side. So you notice there's two, there's one lane now but then it's branching up into two. Because I want to stick to the left, I might as well stick to the left from early on. I didn't go to the right and then after I've moved to the left. I was already in the left by the time I got here. Much easier that way. So if I was to go to the right, I would have stuck to the right nice and early and that way I wouldn't have to worry about switching lanes. So these people on the left have to give them weight they have to give me way, but this car is already there, so I'm just going to let him come through. And then the bus now has to wait for another chance to go through. So when you see lots of traffic like this leading up to the roundabout, it usually means it's quite busy. So it might be tricky to get onto, but it's all about being patient and going at the right time. So I'm just checking, I'm keeping it in first for now because I want to approach it slowly. Checking the right, I can't really see properly because there's a car next to me. But now that I can see that it's clear, I can add more gas. I'm going to second nose, I've got no signal on at the moment, but as soon as I go past that, that exit, I can signal left now. Let everyone know that I'm coming off this exit here. Check my mirror as well, see who's coming off with me. Cancel my signal, I can see the speed limit there for 40 miles per hour. And then the bus is pulling over, this lanes are coming together. Check this mirror because the lanes are now one this car might turn so yeah you see i'm just gonna slow down a bit in a second and then now i'm joining this dual carriage so i can add more speed so I'm into third then into fourth i'm doing about 40 miles per hour in the left lane because the slip road took us to the left lane anyway so I don't need to worry about changing lanes. So the second set of lights, I'm going to turn right. You might hear that instruction sometimes, which means that the, the lights are quite close together. So you want to start moving over. So if they say at the second set of lights, you're turning right, you want to start moving over and aim to be in the right lane before the first set of lights because the second set of lights are going to be quite close and now I can cancel my signal because I'm not turning on the, on the first set of lights, I'm turning on the second set of lights which I'm expecting to be quite close. The lights have been green for ages so I'm just going to slow down a bit, check my mirror. Once I get here, even if they change, I'm going to keep moving. I can see the second set of lights, now I can check my mirror, mirror, signal. I'm going to go straight into the slip road, check my left, check my right mirror. I'm in fourth, I'm gonna keep him in fourth the whole time. And then once I get to around, around here, I'll put my clutch down. And then I'm going to neutral. Handbrake on. Or I could have gone into one, but the lights might take a while, so I'm just gonna keep it neutral for a second. If you're not comfortable doing this, just keep it in, in gear one so that you're ready to move. It's much easier that way. See, their light is going to green, but ours is still staying red. 
So I'm just gonna wait here. Some people get confused here. They they think they can once it goes to red like this, or once once those guys start moving, they'll try to go forward and wait there. But because the lights are here and the line is here, we're not gonna cross that line while this light is still red. Once those cars start stopping, our one's going to be green soon. So I'm going to use that as like a cue when they start stopping or when they start slowing down, I'll start getting ready. I see some of them slowing down at that car. They're slowing down a bit, which means our light is going to change to green very soon. Ch check both sides and then I can make my turn, checking my mirrors as well. Taking note of the speed limit on this road, which is 20. So, coming off the dual carriageway, it's very easy to miss the speed limit and then end up going too fast. Even sometimes people will see the speed limit, but then it still end up going too fast because they don't realize how fast they're going since they were going fast on the motor or the dual carriageway. So we're gonna pull over on the left in a safe place. I'm just going to check my centre mirrors. I've already seen where I'm going to pull over first. I'm going to check my centre mirror, left mirror, signal. I'm going to go into the left nice and early. I see a lot of learners, they'll wait until they get around here to then swing the car to the left. If you've got space on the left to get the car straightened out first, just go to the left nice and early. It makes it much easier to get the car straightened out and stop in the right place. Okay, now we're going to drive on again. So, get my car ready. Do my checks since i'm going this way i need to make sure i check this mirror that mirror and then over my shoulder before i move i don't have to check this side too much i can if i want to but i'm not going to and signal check over my right shoulder it's looking good and then this mirror as i'm coming out and then all the other mirrors just to confirm that everything's all good keeping an eye on my speed So some people around you will go faster than 20 and it can be quite off-putting because you're thinking you might feel like you're going too slow but you need to always be mindful of how fast you're allowed to go and how fast you're actually going. Don't worry about what other people are doing too much. Think about what you're doing and stick to the speed limit. We're going to go left at the end here. I'm going to check my center, check my left. Once I go past this road, I'll signal left because I don't want to confuse anybody. And then here, I'm gonna go into first on the approach and I'm gonna to aim towards the left. So the way this guy's done it, he's done it really well, positioning himself towards the left. So anybody coming here that wants to turn right, he's not gonna be in their way. I'm gonna do the same thing. Check the mirror one more time. Check this side. Once this car's going, I see a nice big gap, then I can make my turn. And there's a sign on the side there for 30. buses which is sometimes can be quite stressful I'm not gonna rush to go past them I'm gonna approach it slowly I want to check what's coming down the road first and then I'm gonna check their signals the first one is still signaling left so I can go past him and then the second one he's signaling right so I'm just gonna go slowly enough so he can go so he can start moving and then that way I'm in between them you don't have to rush to go past them if you're not sure what's going on make sure you know what's going on first before going past them and make sure there's enough room. So here you notice I'm keeping a nice gap between me and his bus because once he stops, if he stops, I want to make sure I can prepare to go around him. So I'm just going to slow down loads, position myself slightly to the right, and then this way, if there was space, I'd go around him. But right now, there's no point going around him because there's traffic right in front of him, and I can see that if I was positioned too far left, I wouldn't be able to see that, and I'll try to go around him right now, and I'll be stuck in the middle of the wrong lane. But now I can see the traffic ahead of him is moving. There are people running towards this bus trying to catch it. I'll see what happens once the other cars start moving, but the other cars have started moving, but this car's coming towards me now. So I'm not gonna try to go around this bus yet because there's no space for me to do that. So now that he's moving, I'm gonna check my left mirror and then go back behind him. So make sure you're keeping an eye on his signals before trying to go around the bus, which is what a lot of learners mistake. They're so focused on going around him, they forget to check the signal. 
Because if they start signaling to go right, then there's no point trying to overtake them at that point then. I'm gonna turn left at these traffic lights. Again, keeping a nice gap between me and the bus. I'm gonna put my foot brake on or I can go into put my hand brake on. It does the same job. I think a lot of people get frustrated when they're behind a vehicle where they can't see what's happening ahead. But it's all about just waiting until they move. So like now they're moving, get ready. I'll keep to my left because they're going to the right. So I'm going to keep to this side. Make sure I've got space because you see who's taking up quite a bit of space. Mirror, mirror, signal. And notice I didn't rush to get here because there's no point, it's red light anyway. So there's no point going really fast towards the space. Keep my signal on. And while I'm here, if I'm new to driving, I'll be thinking to myself, who has priority when I'm turning here? And I know that I have priority. That way I'm already, I've already thought about it. I'm not thinking about it when, I'm, when I start moving. So that way I know what I'm doing. And I'll move in a way that lets other drivers know what I'm doing as well, because sometimes Learners, when they're turned in this kind of situation, they're a bit nervous, they are kind of unsure. And if you're moving unsure, it's going to be confusing to other people around you because it looks like you're giving them way. You've got, this guy's got his foot in the road, so if the light was green, I'd be very careful not to run his toes over. Because that can easily happen when you're making a turn and if someone's got their foot in the road, and if you're driving too close to the curb, it's very easy to clip someone's toes that way. That's going to green. So this car turning should wait for me. I already know that. And because I know that, I can drive into here confidently. Yeah, need a second. And I'm going to turn into this car park here. So I'm just going to check my center mirror, left mirror, signal left. And it's quite a tight space to turn into and it's a bit hilly as well so I'm going to go into first and then once I'm here bring my clutch up a little bit I want to get close to this machine so I can, I can tap my card so I'll go close enough and then I'll secure my car tap the card and then get my biting point release the handbrake and then clutch control up the hill nice and slowly making sure I clear that curb before I turn if I turn too early I'll end up getting way too close potentially clipping the curb on the left there so now it's just a matter of finding a parking space I can see a nice one right here I'm gonna drive straight into it again all the time controlling my clutch so I don't go too fast the whole time I've been in the car park, I've not come off the clutch. This is what a lot of learners struggle with. They think they have to come off the clutch all the time. But in places where you're trying to go really slowly, especially if in your car, gear one goes quite fast anyway without pressing anything, you need to control it by using the clutch. And that's how you do it. All right. So hopefully you found that useful, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.